Good day. Today we're going to be working with a supermarket shelf. Let's check her out. Okay, uh, so in this case what we're going to do is on Moodle, there's something here, uh, it's called supermarket shelf. Okay, so we're going to click on that and we're going to download it. Okay? Uh, from there, if we go to your supermarket uh, sharing forum where you found these instructions, that's where we're going to post it. So what we'll do is, uh, first of all, we'll move it to our folder. So Macintosh HD, go to your house, downloads, and then it's just called supermarket.jpg. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this into my folder here. So there's, there it is into J Fleming. And then from there, we're going to open that up in GIMP. So let's go here, just uh, do a control click, open with GIMP. And our first step is we're going to clear. That looks like. Where are you, GIMP? There you are, friend. OK. So really, the easiest one to do is this puppy up here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my clone tool uh, to get rid of this top shelf of uh, shampoo bottles. We're going to put some fun stuff there. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's double click on our clone tool. Okay. Um, actually, there we go. Um, what we're going to do then too, so when we double click on it, we've got this situation. In. We're going to change the scale around. We're actually going to make the brush a little bigger. So. Um, Go ahead here where it says a scale. I don't know, put that to like six, something like that, just so that it's a little bigger. And then what we'll do is we're going to do a control click. And we're just going to take out situation here. There we go. And we're taking that top shelf out. That's good stuff. Oop. Wrong way there. And you notice some of this stuff isn't looking very good. We're going to use our blur tool to sort of get rid of a lot of these jagged edges. Just keep on taking her out. There we go. So that shelf is now basically clear. That's looking okay. Not the best, but you know, it's it's just important that we get all that stuff off the um, off the shelf. Oh, there we go. So now we'll use our, our our sort of smudge tool or our blur tool, your choice. So go ahead, double click on it. it's the little finger there, smudge tool, and I'm gonna just smudge this up. So it's gonna get rid of uh, a lot of those marks that we made uh, with <clears throat> like when the cloning wasn't smooth. Okay, <clears throat> so now that's our first shelf we wanted to. It's the easiest one. Now, if you want to attempt some of these other shelves, you know, that's good stuff. Uh, but, you know, we don't have a lot to sample with, and also it's sort of hard to, to work with that kind of stuff. But anyways, what we're going to do now is we're going to put something on the shelf. So, I don't know, dude. Put a freaking box of cereal, man. I don't care. So let's go find uh, a picture that we're going to use. So I'm going to put a, let's see here. You know what? I think I'm going to go a little old school. I think we're going to look for some Ecto Cooler. Okay, so this was a, back in the day, it was high C. It's, it was disgusting. It was green. Um, so there we go. Got some Ecto Cooler there. So you're going to find a picture of a product you want to put there. Now, it doesn't have to be food or drink or anything like that. If you want to put a PlayStation or something like that, that's fine too. So let's go ahead and just, you want to get it where it's facing you. Like this is an okay picture. Let's see if it's, oh good, it's not even blocked. Sweetness. So um, uh, do a uh, control click. Make sure you do a click on full size image. 
and then do control click and then save image to downloads. Mine's a little different because uh, unfortunately I'm being an idiot and using Firefox. So open that picture up then in, uh, in GIMP. And then you're just going to cut her out, okay? So let's go ahead. Uh, we've got this open in GIMP. We're going to cut it out now. Ecto cooler. It's mostly sugar and green food coloring. Boy, it is delicious. There we go. So we got that selected now with our lasso tool. Edit, copy. And then we're going to go back to our supermarket shelf, edit, paste as, new layer. There she is. Sweet. So let's use our move tool. And you can see it's a little too big. So I'm going to go ahead and use my scale tool. Let's see what we got there when we scale that down. Still a little too big. So let's take it down a little bit more. It's a big thing of Ecto Cooler. It's pretty pretty intense. So there we go. Put got her in there. So you're gonna want to put a bunch of products there. Uh, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna show you a quick trick. If you wanna, uh, if you got one product and you wanna make like two or three more, great. Go ahead. Make sure that you've got your layers menu out. Okay. So if you don't have this section here, just double click on any tool and go to your little triangle here. Configure this tab. Add tab and layers. Okay, and there it is. So I've got uh, I've got a few layers here. I've got that Ecto Cooler layer, then I've got my background layer. What I'm going to do is just make sure your sort of that product layer is selected, and then just click on this button here. Create duplicate layer. And now when I move it, I've got two. Okay? So go ahead and fill up that top shelf for sure. And if you really want to get fancy, attempt some of the other shelves. Best of luck. Uh, make sure you do a file, save as at the end. Supermarket, last name, hq.jpg. Set that to 100%. Make sure it's going into your folder. Okay, file, save as, and then do an LQ, and then uh, set that to about 30% or so. And then make sure that um, you're uploading the low quality version. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to like 30. There we go, save, and we're done. Best of luck.